Hey guys, it's me, Drew. Welcome back to my channel. I know, a completely different view, but I said in my last video that I really wanted to film some behind-the-camera, up-close reviews of candles again, starting with the six new fragrances that are launching from Kringle in the Reserve Collection on Thursday, January 20th at noon Eastern Standard Time. Now, before I get into the review, yes, I am a Kringle Candle Ambassador. I did not receive this candle in PR. However, I did purchase it at a discount with an Ambassador pre-order. And your eyes are not deceiving you. Yes, this is the Grilled PB&J Candle, which I mentioned I did not care for in my haul video. But I decided to light it up again. And you can see, spoiler alert... I am at the halfway point right now with those crazy dancing flame candle, which we'll discuss in a second. But we will talk about this candle, and I lit it up so I could share it with you guys. Now, this will be available, like I said, on Thursday, January 20th. January, June 20th at noon Eastern Standard Time. The price is $34, but if you use my code DrewYawk15, it will save you 15% off. That's all the Kringle candles, uh, including obviously the reserve launch. And these candles typically don't go on sale, you guys. So it's really, really important to make sure that you pick them up now whenever they are on sale. Well, with the ambassador code to save you a little bit of money because the reserve lines, when they launch, they de typically sell out. And even though I personally don't care for this fragrance, I think it's going to sell out. But Without further ado, let's get into the review. The notes on Grilled Up PB&J are a nostalgic blend that brings the comforting warmth of a classic sandwich to life. Top notes of creamy peanut butter meld seamlessly with a heart of sweet grape and tart raspberry, while the base notes of roasted nuts and a hint of sugar create a delightful mouth-watering finish. So you notice it doesn't mention anything about burnt bread in the notes, but... Anyway, we have top notes of peanut butter, mid notes of grape and raspberry, base notes of nut and sugar. All right, what does this smell like? To me, it smells like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich that you left on the griddle a little too long. And I say that with love. I love Kringle. I am an ambassador, but I do tell you how it is and I give you honest reviews. And I don't care for this candle, so the more the merrier for all of you if you enjoy it. So, the peanut butter note, it definitely smells like a gourmet peanut butter. One of those that you have to stir. If it sits on the shelf for too long, you'll notice the oil starts to separate on top. There's not a peanut butter that's filled with sugar, filled with filler, anything like that. It tastes like a true roasted peanut butter. So... That I really like. I love a peanut butter and jelly fragrance. I love a peanut butter note. It does add this warmth. It does add this depth. It does add this complexity to the fragrance. But the jelly note is not super, super strong. I would love to see this with a really powerful raspberry jelly. Now, I don't care that I admit this. I love an Uncrustable. I have Uncrustables in my freezer all the time. If I'm in a rush or I need a quick lunch, I will eat an Uncrustable. I love a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I'll throw one of those in the air fryer for five minutes and I have a delicious, delicious snack. So whenever I saw this candle, I was super excited. Now, the raspberry jam note like I said, is not super, super strong. I think the bread and that roasted nut butter definitely overpower it because I don't really smell a ton of that rich raspberry jam that I would like. I wish it was a little bit higher on the raspberry jam, less on the peanut butter, which is crazy to think because I am a peanut butter lover. I love all things peanut butter. So, to say that I want the jelly note to be a little stronger is saying something. And it's only because I really, really love this scent on cold. 
it's when you light it up. So you see this browning of the bread? That is what I smell when I light this candle up. This smells like a burnt peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Like you left the bread in the griddle just a little too long. And for me, that I just do not care for at all. I wish I did. I really wish I did. I lit it up for the first time and I was like, oh, what is that smell? And then I instantly knew that's what it was. It was that rich peanut butter um, jelly sandwich that was left on the griddle a little too long. So for me, I will not repurchase this scent. But if you like a rich grilled fragrance, definitely try it. I know a lot of the other ambassadors are loving this fragrance, so I am in the minority here. But I do, one thing we're not in the minority on are these wicks. For some reason, Kringle is experimenting with these wicks. Now, I am in my office. There's no draft, there's no windows open, nothing. These flames are dancing like crazy, you guys. So you can see the top of the wax pools here. I have about a half an inch wax pool right now, almost an inch. It's only been lit for two and a half hours, you guys. And can you see all of the soot that is coming off the top of that flame? I can't, I cannot take it. I'm actually gonna extinguish this right now. Okay, I just blew it out and you will see like a literal cauldron of smoke coming out of it. These candles are burning super, super hot. And I also wonder if that has to do with why I'm smelling that burnt note is because it's actually scorching the wax because it is such a hot burning candle. Now, if you've seen Kringle candles whenever they're fresh, the wicks are pretty long. Now, Mick and Kringle don't recommend you trim them. They say these are self-trimming wicks. That whole thing goes right out the window with this one. You have got to trim the wicks. I did not trim the wicks on the first burn. No joke, the wicks were at least this long, at least almost two inches long. And I didn't trim, I wanted to listen, and after an hour, they were flamethrowers. So I had to extinguish it, and I'm in the my, I'm in the majority with Melanie and with Katie. I don't want to paint my ceilings or my walls in my house. I don't wanna do that. I want a clean burning candle that Kringle is known for. I know they're experimenting with the Wix and Country candle because they're not perfected, but these Kringle candles were perfected, you guys. So I'm not really sure why this one, and I heard Bonfire is also a really hot one. I haven't lit that one yet. So you won't see a half-burned candle review by the time Thursday comes up, but I will light it up once or twice so I can get a review out for you guys. But and this is burning very, very, very hot. I will definitely trim the wicks on this super, super short every time I burn it. It's not a scent that I like despise that I won't be able to finish. I'll finish it. I just won't repurchase it. And speaking of not loving the scent, the throw is like a 10 out of 10. I have it in my office and all my doors are open. I can smell this across the hall from my office, which is my bedroom. I smell it in the living room. Isn't it funny how the fragrances that you like the least throw the best? Maybe it's just because you know you don't care for it, so you're constantly checking for it in the house. And everywhere I go, I smell this grilled PB&J, and I'm like, no, I need to air out my kitchen. It smells like I burnt something in the oven. I just can't. Yeah, I can't do it. So it is a very very strong candle and it's 95 degrees outside right now in Pittsburgh. So let me tell you the, um, they're getting their work for them. So the AC is blasting. So this definitely has nothing to do. Uh, the air condition will have nothing on this candle. That's for sure. So again, I will leave my link down below. Let me know if you decide to pick it up again. Don't listen to me 
if you think you might enjoy these type of fragrances. Again, everybody has different tastes and preferences. For me, it's just not my favorite fragrance. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell. That way you are alerted every time I upload a video here on YouTube. Make it a better world and be kind. Bye.